just a few hundred meters maybe past uh, the entrance to the Mount Oberon car parks where you go up there's actually a small town or commune called Tidal River and this is quite nice it's got lots and lots of camping facilities there's um, an information center here there's nice bathrooms and toilets they've also got uh, a general store so if you want to come here and get pieces I don't know if they have a, a servo whether you can get fuel and things I'm not 100% sure and the showers just saying there's the showers in, in the ladies bathroom okay, so the so, showers yeah. in there so it's a proper campsite we've driven through here there's quite a big route um, around you come in it's a very low speed limit 20 kmh which is probably only about sort of 14 miles an hour through so it's pretty safe for the children there are a few play parks there are some cabins over here so you can stay if you haven't got your own tent you can stay in cabins and there was also some student areas so there were some sort of facilities over here for students uh, schools and um, I guess and the beach is the one which has got the flags it's the patrolled beaches at this uh, okay. one as well. so I think it's the only one on the prom that's actually patrolled because you can swim at the other beaches but for safety yeah you have to be careful in Australia where you swim it's often advised that you only swim where there are lifeguards on duty so the beach here is also patrolled obviously uh, there's a lot of youngsters that come here but uh, just the other side of this area here it's a fair way there's plenty of space as well for camping you get lots of space around you but there seem to be some sort of like um, permanent fixtures so maybe it's for uh, Cub Scouts um, uh, I'm really not 100% sure, but it definitely had a big school group there when we were here uh, the last time we visited the park. Verica and Oberon. We wondered what this was. We've just sort of pulled up because there's sort of what looked to be permanent tents up here. I'm not sure if anyone's staying. Michelle thinks they're probably, and she's probably right, they're glamping. You know, glamorous camping. So yes, now I don't think, I don't think anyone's staying here. There are four or five of these canvas retreats. So I'm gonna take a look. Hopefully nobody's in bed. So this is Varika. You've got a nice bit of decking here. I'm pretty sure there are no guests here at the moment. Um, though it's canvas. Hello? Yeah, they're locked. So although it's canvas, this is glamorous camping. You all right, Michelle? They're glamps. They're glamping grounds. <laughs> they're glamping. No, they're wilderness retreats. Wilderness retreats. Or would we call them glamping? Happy glampers. Anybody in them? No, they 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 they're empty. I had a I couldn't get in, but I had a little look on the front. So we've come up to uh, Mount Oberon. It's really busy today. The other day when we came up. It wasn't quite so busy, but if you can see, look at the cars going down here. Well, the weather looks a bit iffy and it's super busy. We just like to set ourselves a challenge every day and get out. And uh, this walk, it's around about, I think a 45 minute walk to the summit and back down. So it's modestly challenging. So the pathway at the moment, it's almost um, quite leisurely. You can see we've just left the car park it's a nice incline I'm not sure what my degrees would be probably around about sort of eight nine degrees incline so we've just read the sign it says it's about an hour round trip we'll be going fairly leisurely so it might be a little bit longer I'm just thinking this is quite easy I mean it's a bit of a slope, but not much. You're going to get a little out of puff because you want to walk fast enough, but you are a little out of puff. But it's really well maintained. Look at this. 
beautiful flora around you. It's a cool day today. So yeah, I don't need a top on, but it's not too hot either. No, I'm deciding whether I need my jumper on or not. <laughs> I would say, if you're in Melbourne on a day when it's a bit overcast and a bit grey, it's probably the ideal time to come and visit something like this because on a hot day, and it does get very hot in Melbourne, this would be a much more arduous walk. When we came the other day, it was quite hot, wasn't it? And it was quite sunny. And yeah. There, not a lot of cloud, and we didn't do any walking really. We just walked the beaches and. The beaches were beautiful. I mean, if, that it's, was pretty. if it's a hot day, come down here and bring your cosy. <laughs> Uh, we've got a, a choice here. There's a fork in the road. I think we're going to go. Can I either go up? That way, Picnic it, Bay. Up that ah, way. Ah, so you can get to Picnic Bay. Yeah. Okay. Good day. We do have a picnic, but we've so never got it on us. <laughs> picnic Bay is 1.5k. Squeaky Beach. Well, I think we're pretty much on it. Oh no, we've got to swim across. No, we can't go. It's too much water. Got these rocks over here. Beautiful. So this is Squeaky Beach. Look behind me. You up here. Get in those beautiful, some of the best beaches I've seen in Australia. Different, not as quite as wide and as golden as some of the northern beaches, but very pretty. And you should be puffing. If you're strolling, if you're strolling up here, you're not going to puff, but you're also not going to get the cardio workout that you need. There's another couple set off with us. They are strolling up. And good, if you want to, why shouldn't you? We can stroll down. Strolling down, we won't know. I can highly recommend coming to the Wilson Promontory if you're anywhere in Victoria, particularly if you're in Melbourne. Now, many of you aren't. You're in other parts of the world. Let us know in the comments, if you live in another part of the world, where are great places to go walking like this out in the wilderness? Not too complicated, maybe where the average person is quite happy to come out and experience this relative isolation. Beautiful wildlife. It's about a couple of hours out of Melbourne Central, but it's well worth it. So comments down below. Let us know whether you're in Canada or India or China, anywhere in the world, and there's somewhere near you that you think's a great walk like this, share it with the community. Can't see it now, just back there. So maybe it's halfway, quarter of the way up. There's a couple of young lads sat on there and I'm shouting, oh no, you're on our bench. And I was only joking because we weren't going to stop but it was kind of nice because they started to get off. And I said, no, no, I'm only kidding. We're not stopping. And they smiled. So it's all good. Out there, Michelle. Anyone want to guess identifying the spore? I don't think it's wombat. Wombat's sort of squarer than that, believe it or not. So, comments. Yeah, guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How far up is it now? How far? How far? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. All right. Where are you from? France. France. So all those guys were from France. Uh, Toulouse. Toulouse. Two from France. And France. three.
three from Paris. Three from Paris, and one from the southeast. One from the southeast. And it's quite a, a zigzag because look, we've we just passed them down there. Now I'm annoyed with myself for not practicing my French. <laughs> <sighs> but how do you say how far? Uh, to the top. <laughs> quelle distance? Should have practiced. Always don't be afraid, however bad your language is, to uh, practice, even if you're in Australia speaking to a Frenchman. Now, the French boys, they said 20 minutes or 20 minutes to the top, at least from where we were, which is a bit disconcerting because although the paths are beautiful, they said it was an hour round tripper at the bottom. Michelle and I haven't been overtaken. We've overtaken a few people, but I reckon we've been going 30 minutes already. So, a little longer perhaps than an hour round trip. You're, You're from, from Sri Lanka. Lanka. Sri Lanka, yeah. oh, yes. Cool. You're from? You're from? Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is Sri Lanka? Uh, we are in uh, Colombo. In Colombo? In Colombo, yeah. a, little bit, a little bit far away from Colombo. Where, where, where? Gambaha. I know Gambaha. 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 Okay, yeah, I know, I know Sri Lanka. Yeah, you to Sri Lanka? Mm. Yeah, yeah, we've been to Sri Lanka. Oh. Okay. Bye -bye. What are your names? Sarat. Rasangi and Rasandi, we are twins. Rasangi and Rasandi, twins, yeah. okay. Just, just, what are you on about, Stephen? Just. They said one and a half Ks. <laughs> <laughs> so the lovely, the twins and Papa from Sri Lanka said we still got one and a half k's. Hmm. It's a lovely walk, but it's not half an hour. It's a lot of noise. I reckon we're near the top. If we're not near the top, we definitely had a big crowd coming down. We'll talk to them, don't you worry. You'll find out about who they are. Steve won't let you down. A lovely viewpoint on this bend. A bit too cloudy today to appreciate it, but uh, view's good, clouds are not. You can definitely hear the noise, Michelle. They're going up that way, it the throng. The top. wasn't the top, it's a crowd of students, I think. Music playing and blasting. Still, they're having fun, but look at this view. It's cool, the clouds. It does. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> that was a steep bit. <laughs> that corner is super steep. <sighs> now, have we gone too early? Started too fast? I'm pooped. No, we'll <sighs> get there. We will get there. It's been 45 minutes. Uh, already. I'm pretty exhausted. It is beautiful though. I think they're anticipating a 10 minute down. Maybe we get to the top, maybe there's a cable car down. <laughs> a five minute cable car. But no. Okay, update then. It is a pretty challenging walk up actually. We're not super fit. But... We're, we're not super fit at the moment. Too much traveling. I like this log. Oh, right. <sighs> the hole there. Maybe that's a slippy dip coming down from the top. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a slide down, like a quick go. You remember in Snakes and Ladders or the Faraway Tree? Oh, you Maybe you can come down the slippery slip and whiz down and out of there. Have a look up, up inside. I can't hear anyone coming though. Sustenance. Yorkshire parking. Oh, so good. Michelle? Mm, very good. We're running out of energy. Mm, A couple of squares of parking. Rich, delicious. Mm. Michelle's just noticed the telegraphs above and she was saying, what are you saying about markers, Michelle? Oh, so that they need to have a halfway point marked <laughs> along the route. But I reckon if there was a halfway point, people would give up because it's a long way. And we've just noticed people cutting through the vegetation up here. So still a long way to go. For want of repeating myself, it is beautiful. 
but uh, we set out today to challenge ourselves because we've had a bit of a sedentary uh, few weeks. I said, we've got to go and do something harsh. <sighs> Great idea. There's the steps, Michelle. We're going up to the top. Okay, so they're steps of a fashion. They're not, they're really stone steps, really nice steps. not for the faint-hearted. If you don't like heights. I'm all right on this bit, you should have something to hold on to. <laughs> but there's bits that haven't. <laughs> I can hear the rabble up there. The students. The views are getting better. You can see the coast now. Worth a walk. When I take a breath, you fill up my lungs. So it's beautiful, beautiful up here. Michelle's a bit wary of the edge, aren't you, sweetheart? <laughs> no. She doesn't like the edge. I do. Look at that view. And we met met this group of uh, kids from Melbourne University. They're all pretty much all dental students. Well, the views keep getting better. It's quite a wind up here, isn't there? <sighs> Worth the walk up. Did you enjoy the walk up? Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I film I, you? <laughs> I <laughs> okay. Korea. Enjoy the walk down. We live in Korea. Oh, oh Korea, yes. To, uh, yeah. oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Kim. Kim, I'm <laughs> yeah. uh, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I've just met a couple, a lovely couple from Germany. What, what are your names? Stefan. Stefan. Sabina. Sabina. <laughs> and Stefan, would you believe, is born in Munster. That's correct. <laughs> which is one of my favorite cities where I spent a lot of time. You're not from Munster. I'm not. No. But anyway, it's a real coincidence. We're, we're here on top of the mountain looking out at Tasmania. Is out there somewhere, I think, maybe? Maybe. Should be that time. Yeah. It's a small world, hey? It oh, is. All right. It is. Good meeting you. <laughs> oh yeah, very nice to meet you. <laughs> Beautiful. That was a really good trip up. And so now begins the trip down. The trip down. A bit easier. Um, so, I don't know if we're going to film a lot more on the way down. Look behind us, just turn around so we can get that. Oh, Michelle's very wary because we are it's all right there's a barrier oh, we are very near the edge and it, do, she, she it doesn't, doesn't like it. it doesn't wobble so I'm all right <laughs> but uh, it's been a great trip up I mean the down trip is going to be a little easier a lot easier um, and we've met some great people on this little journey so uh, we'll finish it at the bottom because we might meet some more we'll finish it at the bottom we might meet more Michelle's right I mean we are motoring down it's really no effort at all and um you know just all the really steep bits the yes going up and but, the wide yeah the bits that uh, were really steep were on the bend where the camber is uh, quite tight but um 
it's still not gonna it's even at speed it's probably gonna be 30 minutes getting down i think so it's longer than an hour it's longer than an hour i don't think anyone really is gonna unless they power walk all the way up but even then i suggest it can't be done in 30 minutes so they're being a bit optimistic saying 30 minutes certainly it's not 30 minutes, but it's still, I'd say probably all round, it's a couple of hours. Yeah, so maybe they make an hour one way, but they usually put one way if they make yeah, maybe. Hmm. Usually the trek, if it says an hour on the sign, it means the whole trek up and down is an hour. But I get the feeling it was closer to uh, possibly an hour both ways if you were going at a, a modest speed. Because you have to go down, you can't go a different way. Yeah, there is no cable car. <laughs> You were optimistic. <laughs> I thought there might be a cable car or a, or a lift down. And I can feel it already that tomorrow my calves are going to ache. Don't you think, Michelle? I think so. <laughs> because actually it's the downhill. It's the downhill where you're sort of pounding into the... And it is quite steep. It might not look that steep. I say here, I'm not sure the degrees, yes. but... Uh, you suddenly feel it when you're going downhill. That it's really steep. Yeah, you can feel the jarring on on your on my knees. feet and knees, and the calves are, t are tightening up. So tomorrow, I'm going to wait. I tell you what, this is heaps of fun. Sometimes when you walk out in the wilderness, you want, oh, I hope I don't meet too many people. You know, you can have a walk, and just in the peace and quiet and secluded wilderness. But to be honest, I've met so many really lovely people on this walk. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm, I'm really pleased that everybody was here. I'm pleased that we went all the way to the top. And I'm so pleased that we have Wilson Promontory so close to our doorstep here in Melbourne. If you haven't been here before, you really must. It is good, isn't it? it is. Anyway, share the love, be good. Michelle and I will see you in the next video. the very end the very end the sun's come out just to warm our backs at the bottom of the mountain I say it's the very end we've been thinking yeah, we've been thinking it's the very end for about 15 minutes now <laughs>